These are this year's nominees for Record of the Year. Irreplaceable, Beyonce. The Pretender, Foo Fighters. Umbrella, Rihanna, featuring Jay-Z. What goes around comes around, Justin Timberlake. His album's called What Goes Around Comes Around. And Rehab, Amy Winehouse. And the Grammy goes to Amy Winehouse. I am fucking freezing. It doesn't matter the education, Jack. I'm an alcoholic. We're alcoholics. And we never were very good at cold turkey. Sir, wake up. We're here. You're gonna hurt yourself. I'm fine, Doc. Yeah, you're fine. Why don't you make your way over to your husband there, Wonder Woman? She gets angry when she drinks. Tiki Huma Ikos Namki, what about Muri? But to get a goya. I almost got out the door. God, I almost got out that door. I don't know how the fuck I got out those restraints. I ran out that door, the security guard just grabbed me. Grabbed me, and I couldn't fucking fight him. I was already, I don't know what I was on, and we couldn't fight him, even if I wasn't on anything. He was stronger than me, he's a man. And, and then the fucking bit psychiatrist on call, what a fucking cunt she was, you know? How ignorant, you know? And she goes, I want her back in restraints. That's all she said, and they dragged me back in, tied me down, so I really couldn't move. No matter what, we don't use. It's easy to say that in a fucking meeting. And then when we ask and look what actually happened, it's very clear that you know somebody started using marijuana and somebody started getting really into using marijuana like daily. And then people's depression got worse and to the point that literally they feel that they don't even know how to cope anymore. This generally comes into the store, I would say probably about four or five times every week. When I see him, he's always in a good mood. And he has such a nice smile. Over the years, he has lost a lot of his teeth, but he always has a very nice smile. He always says, God bless you. He never tries to steal anything. He's never drunk. I actually had a mental illness. Schizophrenia, to be precise. Oh. Okay, I've never met a schizophrenic before. Um, do you still have it? It's, it's lifelong, isn't it? It's someone else looking at you, even though it's you. And that's why I came up with the line, uh, I'm paranoid, uh, I don't know why it feels like someone's staring at me through my own eyes. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Hi, my name is Tony Dennison, and my friend Michael DeLeon has made this film about a very serious topic. 
It's called an American epidemic. And it's about the drug addiction epidemic in America. We're in the middle of a pre prescription drug e epidemic. I mean, people are dying, you know. He'd had a terrible time because that was very much taken away from him. Do you know what I mean? The leadership per se. And he was really concerned that like the way that Kit and I were in our drug using, or whatever it was, that a lot, a lot of damage would be done. The early 70s coincided with two things. You know, one was that the Who becoming, you know, a, a, a road war machine, and the other with Kit Lambert becoming a heroin addict. Hi, Dad. It's me, Gregory. I think there's some things we need to talk about. What do you mean you'll start working again? You're pregnant! What are you gonna do? You're gonna work for three months? This is... This is not how I imagined my life would be. Because he knew how to scratch and he was a hell of a DJ. It was more than that, though, man. This motherfucker had that shit in his blood. When I was in the school bus and the, the windshield wipers were, were going and they had that rhythm because it rains all the time in Philly, every car we pull up next to, I'd wait for them to be in sync together. You know, and I would watch it when one's going faster than the other or every car's brake light. You know what I mean? Everyone has a different speed, but there's that one point where they start going together and then they start to fall off and then they catch on the other side. And, boom and they're back together in sync and i would watch that and i would see how long you know they'd be in sync together and that's exactly mixing to me we wouldn't have been particularly impressive um we had a few gimmicks you know keith keith was had an extraordinary look about it go to a sex club go to a strip club and look at the 50 year old guy who's slumped over and has had five drinks and is spending the rent money on some dancer. Do you ever miss it? <sighs> Why should we break up? I'm unstable. He's unstable. Together we're unstable. It's fine. Look at you. You lost your job. Again. There's something seriously wrong with you. And I kept calling for my mother. I know she heard me, but she was so scared of him. You know, that's how I continue to love her because I didn't want to, didn't want to like her after that. I'm 
Really? And I have big titties. <laughs> my mother had big titties. Also, my two sisters. So it must rand in the family. That love was a drug and a drink. But it didn't love me. So, you come back. For the last time. I came to say goodbye. You've said that so many times before. Yeah, well, I'm serious this time. It's, it's enough. I've marshaled my forces. I've read the book. I've joined the support group. And tonight's the night. You and me, Archie. We're gashing out. I think what has happened is there's not enough love there. There's not enough care for these young people. And I think we need to love them back to life. There are issues on the inside that, that go deep from generation to generation. Did she punch you? Get back here, you little bitch. Nobody punches my son. Shall we chat about this last incident? Are you saying you took the pills because you were upset? Much like a girl who's been out having a wonderful evening. We probably haven't, with our parents, spoken about drinking a lot. Um, other than maybe we've come home after a party and been vomiting everywhere there and they just said, you really shouldn't drink so much, but actually we're not dealing with the why. Why did you get absolutely off your face? When I was sort of 19, 20, 21 and it was all kicking off and going a bit mad, I didn't really understand that I could do anything different because everyone that I saw around me was in the madness as well. I think we could do with educating our, our teens in Britain before they sort of head on into the, uh, the madness. We call this place Maheo, from the Cheyenne word meaning higher being. And I've heard all the garbage that these guys look up to me, but the truth of it is, is I look up to them. These are the bravest people I know. There's so much unfair pressure on them to get everything too fast, to grow up too fast. They can falter. So here we try to slow things down. We try to help them find a good pace. And I think that these four-legged horses can help these kids find their own two feet. So you parents have been led to the outside of a stone circle. And we make this circle to remind us that everything in nature is connected. So I'd like you to take a couple careful steps forward. Don't trip over the stones. And you're in the circle. We'll just take a minute of silence, let nature speak to us. And I'd like you to hold out your right hands. And the next voice you hear, and the next hand you feel, will be part of you. Thank you for never giving up on me.